can we squeeze in a treasurer's race? Uh, Judy Baker and Eric Schmidt. Um, you know, I'm struck by the fact that they seem to be having some money to spend on this race as well. And they talk about things like jobs and things that you might traditionally hear from a governor or someone a little higher up. Do, what? They're, they're actually running a more traditional Missouri statewide race yeah. that, that seems a little bit separate from uh, the craziness of the Trump-Clinton race and the weirdness of the, of the Coster-Greitens race. I mean, uh, Eric Schmidt and Judy Baker are running sort of a traditional Missouri statewide race. I think probably Eric Schmidt has the advantage in part because he'll get some of the, uh, of the Trump coattails and he has more recent experience getting some statewide headlines due to his, uh, his time in the Senate. Um, he's run, I think, some pretty effective ads. I don't think they've played a whole lot. They, you know, they don't have a lot of money in those races, but, but I think he probably has the advantage going into Tuesday. Well, because he has more, because he took a lot early on from Rex Singfeld. Right. But it's kind of interesting, the issues, because he's p pushing this whole terrorism thing, saying, I'll make sure we don't invest in terrorism. And then Judy Baker's running one that claims that, that, that says, well, he voted for stuff to let chi the Chinese own more land. So it's terrorism and Chinese, it's, I think it's, that's the one race where you've got those issues playing. International <laughs> affairs at the Missouri State Treasurer's uh, level race. Um.